Wait, am I live? Hello? Wait, some goal. What is that? Get that off there. Am I live? No way I'm live. Get that off there. Oh my god, I am live. Holy smokes. All right, well, let's just uh, source horseman this up. Freaking live? Oh, good lord. Hello? Can someone tell me that I'm live or not? Does this work? That does work. That's too bright. Okay, I'm here. What's up, everybody? This one? This works. Oh, man. Hold on. I got to turn on the lights. We're here. All right, listen. Got something to tell you guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, okay. Yep. So, I may or may not be slightly intoxicated. I am uh, drinking a little bit of Happy Dad. Let me just make sure that this is correct. Sure, okay, boom. Um... YouTube.com, let's do with a no copyright music background. I need something in my ears, you know what I mean? This one. Uh, no thanks. Does this work? Can you guys hear the music, yes or no? Let me know. You know what I mean? Is it too loud? Is it not loud enough? Here we go. All right, so I feel like there, there's more than two people in here, which is... Literally all I thought that was going to be. So, the game plan for today, Cody. I see you in here. Thank you, brother. Cody's going to be my cybersecurity specialist, by the way, guys. Very faint. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so, I have all this stuff on the bed. All these, all these mythics I'm going to open. That's my, uh, that's my plan. All right, so hold on. Let me just say hi to everybody, first of all. Glenn, what's up, brother? Primetime, thank you. Wraith, hello. Sandy Toes. Uh, Trevor, what's going on, brother? Caleb, what's up, man? Ron, Kent Pool, how you doing, brother? Uh, I, uh, I already said Glenn, sorry. Shannon, what's up? Hey, Josh, if you're interested, I am selling off myth Mythic Legions. Wraith, now is a very good uh, time to persuade me to spend money. So here we go. Bro, been a long time. It's, dude, I know, man. It's It's been a lot, all right? You know, but we're here. We had a great PowerCon weekend. Um, it was myself, Karina, my lovely wife, and then uh, Brian and his lovely fiance, Natalie. We all traveled to Columbus. Bye, bye, my baby's all gone. Yeah, you know, Cody. Um, we went to Columbus for a weekend, kind of, half a weekend. We went to PowerCon. PowerCon was absolutely amazing. Um, I spent way too much money. As you can see in the thumbnail, maybe the thing, the, the, the toys that are towering over me. Um, yeah, I bought a lot. Didn't, didn't think I would. I'm all in on cosmic. I jumped off the high dive and dove in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my wife, Karina, she bought her first action figure. She bought a, uh, a cosmic legion. I'm really mad that I didn't record. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. All right. I need to start opening toys. Cody's al already correct. Um, um, what am I saying? Damn it. Um, Damien, what's up, brother? All right. So let me just g g give you a little info. Um, of stuff that's going on. This is this music's really loud in my head for some reason. What's up, Benny? My man. How's it going? Um oh my god, what was I talking about? Was it PowerCon? Is that what I was saying? What was I just talking about? Can't hear music, that's fine. I just need it in my ear. Or do you guys need to hear it too? Probably. Is that better? I'm live. I'm digging. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, watch the TV. Uh, dang it. 
Cosmics. I think I was on the, the verge of Cosmics. Um, so I didn't think, because th there are clips out there of my live streams where people would be like, hey, are you doing Cosmics? And I'd be like, nah, not really. And I think Cody and I, on 4th of July, when we did our uh, live stream, we were looking at Cosmics. Cody, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Don't worry, guys. They're healthy. They have electrolytes. Um, I freaking bought all of them. Um, I mean, that whole top shelf that you guys see, that's all Cosmics. And I bought two extra for some stupid reason. All right, let me just break this down for you guys real quick. There's 35 people in here. This is probably literally all the 35 people who will religiously watch my videos because you probably somewhat care about me and I appreciate you. So let me just break this down, all right? Let's just rewind about a month and a half, two months ago, three months ago, whenever it is. Brian and I are conversing via text message. And we move into the new, well, Karina and I, not Brian and I. Karina and I move into a new house. Brian and Natalie are dear friends, and they're like, hey, we want to come see your house. Oh, ironically, they wanted to come to PowerCon. So Brian and I start talking. He's like, hey, why? I'm sorry, you can hear me on the front porch. Why don't we come up for PowerCon, and we see your guys' house, and we go to PowerCon for a day? Now, this was at a time where I was not very interested in action figures, okay? So I was like, yeah, sure. Let's just go Friday. It's going to be the least busiest day. Last year, when I went for the entire weekend, it was, a, it was, it was not good. I'm going I'm to be real with you guys. It was not my favorite show. Now, I'm not saying that completely because there's more to add on to this story. So Brian and Natalie, they come up Thursday. Uh, we wake up Friday. We go to the show. It's great. We did an escape room. We ate some food. We go to the show. And quite frankly, it blows my socks off. It's 10 times better than last year. It's twice the size. I, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm in, you know, I'm dabbling in the Mythic Legions. I, I st you know, I'm, I'm back in there. I'm here. I'm there. You know, we're there. The best time to buy Mythic Legions is in an in-stock sale, pre-order, or at one of their booths at a show. And ironically, PowerCon and LegionsCon are their two, like, uh, Staple shows, I think is how they described it. So we go through the line on Friday and I freaking buy one of everything for some reason. I don't know. I, it's just like they, they kind of get you because they're like, OK, there's only one per person um, until you go back through the line. You can go through the line as many times as you want, but it's one per person. So when you get up there, you know, there's 763 people behind you and you don't want to be that asshole that's like holding up the line. You know what I mean? So you're like, all right, I'll just get this and I'll get this and blah, 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 blah. You know, there's like, there's so many things. Hold on. First of all, Wraith Mace, $2 super chat. Thank you, brother. Got to come to Legion's Con in November. Listen, I'm trying to convince Karina that we need to go. Cody wanted to go. We backed down on the plans because I'm like, ah, I don't know if it's worth it. Now Karina wants to go. So now it's like a thing. But Cody and Brooklyn can't go because they have a new baby bean and it would just be hard for all of us to go and there it's just there's a lot of logistics that's going in but thank you very much for the two dollar super chat that's very generous of you i just bought seven mythic legions today so this will help karina not be mad at me you know what i mean so i appreciate it thank you very much wraith mace appreciate you yeah so why are we in line for the, I mean, this is this is all going to be in Dub's video, so I'm sorry if I'm spoiling anything. But there's literally a clip where someone's like, hey, do you need a box? And I'm like, no, absolutely not. I'm buying like two figures. I just spent $1,600 the week before to recharge my air conditioning in my car. So I was like, no, I'm buying two to three mythic, or I'm sorry, two to three cosmic legions. There's literally a clip in Brian's video where someone asks for a box. If I need a box, I said, no, absolutely not. And Karina looks at the camera. She says, remember this in 30 minutes when we get to the front of the line. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I got a big box. All right? So I may or may not have bought everything. Absolutely bought everything. Okay? 
And then, you know, I don't know what we did Friday. I forget. I, oh, we went out. We, 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 we went to the, uh, the live stream of the new Cosmic Legions, which was fantastic. And uh, hold on. So good. So then we, uh, yeah, we went to, we, we got steak at, at Ruth Chris and spent um, an all in Mythic Legion price of a, of a bill for food. And then um, we went to the private event, in person private event, public online. Oh my gosh, Wraith Mace. $10 super chat. It says, to help for the cost of your figures today. I know what an upset wife looks like, sir. Listen, th this, is, this is not a lie. And Brian, aka Big Dub, can attest to this. I recorded a video of myself telling Karina what I bought. I was on punishment for a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay? We keep it transparent here. I was on punishment. And Brian saw firsthand. Listen, there was way too much package. <laughs> I did not realize that my crotch was in that entire video because I was trying to be like incognito of um, recording. So when I recorded and I was like acting like I had my phone in my hand, I kept putting my phone down and it was literally my crotch the entire time. So anyways, back to Friday. So we went and then Gnomeski, what's up, brother? Trevor, whips and chains. Absolutely. I'm, I'm down. Uh, whatever punishment I have to be on, because I bought seven Mythic Legions today. Mythic Legions today. Yeah, I bought seven today. Anyways, so we're all on Friday, and we're having a great time. We go back to the hotel. We go to sleep because we're, we're responsible because we were supposed to wake up, and we were supposed to come home, which is to my house, current room, uh, Saturday. So Brian and I wake up at the ass crack of dawn, like 730. You know, I send my Undertaker gif of him rising from the dead. I'm like, I'm up. I'm ready. Let's go. What are we doing? So then, Brian's like, oh, I missed out on Slog, this, this big green guy right here. So I missed out on him. He was one of, like, my, my top wanted figures that I, because the aftermarket price of him is just is, is incredible. It's, like, $40 more. Um, so I definitely wanted to get him for retail if I could. So I didn't get him on Friday. And Big Dub is like, well, Carvar and Chris James are in um, – are, are supposed to be in line or, or whatever. Like, could they get one for you and we just meet them in the lobby because we didn't have a Saturday ticket to get into the convention, right? So I messaged Brian Carvar, shout out to him and shout out to Chris for even considering it. I'm like, hey, Brian, Carvar, if, if you don't get slog, would you be able to get one for me? Because they were like 10th in line that day. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. So Brian and I are texting back and forth. We go downstairs, we eat waffles and <sighs> cereal, I think. I don't know. You know, and uh, we go back to the room and we're like, well, the girls <laughs> absolutely do not want to go to a convention two days in a row and stand in the freaking four horsemen line. We do because we're idiots. No offense, Brian. Hopefully you don't take any offense because we're roping that together. We're stupid. We're dumb. We're like, hey, we literally saw 14 booths out of the 65 that were there. And we're like, let's just go. So. Karina has her card. I think Brian handed Natalie a card, or Natalie had her, and I'm talking about a credit card. And we're like, hey, ladies, we're idiots. You guys are smart. Get as far away from the convention as possible. We're going to go in. We're going to go stand in line. We're going to walk around this whole convention 17 times and see new stuff every single time that we walk by a booth. You guys go get bottomless mimosas and just have fun. So not only did they get bottomless mimosas, they're driving around Columbus on scooter. I mean, I'm not going to spoil it all because I'm sure a lot of it's in, in Brian's video. But needless to say, we ended up going back on Saturday, which we didn't plan. Bought a freaking ticket for Saturday for both of us. And I ended up getting another big box. Two, two big boxes is what I got. I think Brian and I made two 
I think two trips to the car on Saturday. Mind you, on a day that we didn't even plan to go to the convention. So, I digress. So after all that, long story short, first of all, Wraith, thank you for all the support tonight. Extremely generous, not needed. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for that. Um, I'm happy that I went live tonight. I am going to open figures, I promise. I just wanted to give you, a, a, give you guys a little rundown because I didn't make a freaking video because literally on our way to Columbus, I look over at Brian and I'm like, I didn't bring my camera because that's how disconnected I am with making content to where I was just like, I forgot. So I didn't make one and I am very bummed because this was actually a very fun show. But anyways, I'm going to start opening figures right now. We're going, to, we're going to get it going. I appreciate you. Thank you, Wraith. And I guess I did go to the car nine times at least. So um, I have figures up there that I forgot about. So I'm going to go through. I'm just going to burn through most of these. Just get them open because my display. Wait, hold on. My display honestly isn't looking horrible. So I'll see what I can do. I might show some thigh when I stand up because I got my short shorts on, but you know, we're here for it. So anyone who's here, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Right. So I at least have these that I absolutely need to open. And these are some that I need to open. So the big boxes, those are, um, these are these guys. I'm not gonna open him um, because I bought these for an investment standpoint. Um, just for when they, they release more bodies that can, that can go on him. Um, so I already have one of these open, but I'm not going to open all four because I, I don't need them. Oh, and I don't have the space for them right now because for, for a figure that takes up this amount of stuff, um, it's just not worth it because I don't have the room for it specifically right this second, because like I said, I bought seven today. And once I get those in, I'm definitely gonna have to open those because they are freaking awesome. See you later, Benny. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for uh, the, the conversations and thank you for being here. Um, okay, so that's good. <laughs> and this guy, um, the Aerith here two pack. Every time I talk to Brian, <clears throat> we talk about, um, what's it called? The <laughs> Red Shield Soldier Centaur. How we talk about how I need to buy the single pack of this and keep the two pack just because it's uh, rare or collectible. I don't know what it is. So I'm very hesitant on opening this from a collector standpoint. So we're going to pass on this. And you know what, Brian? It actually makes me mad because I had the chance to buy like both of these, like the single versions of these guys multiple times this weekend. And I didn't. Um, all right. So. Yeah, I got the two-pack. Shout out to Art Gutierrez. Um, he got it for me at retail. And um, at New Jersey Toy Con or something like that. I don't remember. All right, so. I want to be real with you guys. So over the, over the weekend, shout out to uh, My Wife Is Gonna Kill Me podcast. <clears throat> what shelves are those? They are from Ikea. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember. I don't remember what those are called. I won't be real with you. But I know they are Ikea. And you could probably find them because they're glass shelving. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, They had it... <sighs> Sell me the two-pack. I'll probably keep the two-pack, right? 
Um, can't you can help me with the singles? Do you have the singles or do you just know somebody who has the singles? Um, yeah, Gabriel, I'm sorry, dude. I, Cause you know how Ikea, it's like all German names or something of their shelves and stuff outside of a Detolf. <laughs> I just, I don't know. But if, if you go to Ikea, if you go to the Ikea's website, I mean, if you search like glass shelving, you'll definitely find like what it's working for. Cause I don't think it was that expensive. It was maybe like 80 bucks. It was cheaper than a Detolf. I know that. So anyways, I digress. So shout out to... I think they'll have them in a collection of buying this weekend. Oh, okay. Well, not that I need to be on any more punishment, but if you if you happen to get them and they're not absurdly priced, if you could think of me first, I would love that. I can't guarantee that I would be able to pull the trigger because of what I bought today. But if you could at least send me a friendly message saying, hey, it's going to be this much, I would appreciate it, but no pressure. So, Anyways, this weekend, shout out to the My Wife is Going to Kill Me podcast booth. Um, I picked up a red shield soldier. Wait, shabam. Picked up him. He is from the Aerithor Wave. And I remember uh, when I was collecting Mythics prior to this version, um... He was one of the ones that I loved in the wave because he was essentially an army builder. He's not a legion builder uh, brand name or whatever, skew type of uh, Mythic Legion. But he was awesome. I never got him because when I got my Aerithir wave in, I already sold my Mythics, so I sold everything for cost. Um, for that. You know, that's one thing I'll say. Every Mythic Legion... That or the Mythic Legions that I bought at cost um, when I was selling, I sold at cost. That was the one toy line that I didn't market value on because I appreciate the community and everything so much. I literally sold that two pack. That two pack I, I bought, I, I pre ordered from the Air Through pre order wave. I sold it for cost and I had people messaging me like, hey, I'll send you, you know, X amount of money, I'll send you double for it or whatever. And I never took it. I sold it at cost. So that is, uh, oh, what the heck is this? That is one thing that I, you know, kind of pride myself on. Because at least I, I just, I don't know. That community is just so different. I just don't want to take a, uh, I don't know. Don't want to take advantage of that. So not only did I buy that, <laughs> I bought a second one. And I bought a third one. So I bought three red shield soldiers i gotta make sure i say that and um oh sorry i was just reading something so yeah i bought three of these um i want to open these guys up because <laughs> i did buy how many did i buy today Brian, five more? I think I bought five more. I think I bought five more Red Shield soldiers today, literally, um, from the Cabal. So shout out to the Mythic Legion's Cabal. I bought five of them because this is my, uh, my plan that I would like to do. And I, I, sh I should just stop right here and say tonight, um, what I'm planning to do is just get these figures open. I, I, I don't plan on doing a whole big um, posing seminar. Um, I'll show you kind of the stuff that comes with the Red Shield Soldier um, in case you're, for some reason, unfamiliar with it. Um, but then I'm just gonna kind of speed through everything because I really do need to get this stuff open. I am the worst person on the planet to buy something and then never open it. So here is what the figure looks like. And, and I'm gonna say this, man, for some reason, just Jeff, what's up brother? Um, this figure is like one of my favorites ever. I don't know why it's so plain, but it is like so, it's just gorgeous, man. And you know what? 
Let me just do this. Hold on. So I, I bought five of these for a total of eight because I, I want to do a little army on my shelf to where I have four red. So I, so I have four of these guys. And then I have Magnus um, as the Templar version. So let me, let me just do this. Hold on. All right, so this is the, the figure that I bought, the Red Shield Soldier. I'm going to have eight of these guys. So you see how he has the frog head, which, Gnomeski, shout out. Yes, I love this helmet um, with the staff, spear, jousting thing. But he also has this, the Templar Knight. How awesome is this? So I'm thinking about literally displaying them just like this with the shield, the Templar hel helmet, because I, I, for some reason I love this tone of red. I don't know. It, it just looks so clean for how simple it is. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but I love that thousand percent. He also comes with this head sculpt and then obviously the, the frog head helmet thing. So I'm going to have four of them. <laughs> Cody, you're good, dude. So this is Magnus. I already have one of him. And I currently have him displayed with the head sculpt because I think it looks good. So my plan on my shelf is to have one of these kind of as like the leader, the king, the, the whatever you want to be of this army, right? Unhelmeted. But then I want to have four, four of these guys with the Templar helmet on. And then I'm going to have this with the Templar helmet at the front to be like the squad leader of the four Red Shield Soldier Commanders. Because in Mythic Legion's lore, these guys are all under the same faction. So I'm going to have this guy leading the squad of four Red Shield Soldiers and Templar, right? Which I think is pretty cool. And then this chick, Hadriana, she is the leader, I think Brian told me, uh, yeah, she is the leader of the Red Shield. So it's going to be her. So this this girl. It's going to be this chick. And this guy, Magnus, at, at the helm of the, the, the miniature army that I'll have. To me, I love that. Because this is like one of my favorite, quote unquote, army builder figures, right? To have. Um... So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. To me, personally, I think it's worth it. I got it from a great deal. Army build it? Yeah, absolutely. Can't. I'm trying, brother. You know what I mean? So, because Brian tagged me on a, on a post, unfortunately, um, of some guy in the cabal just giving away these figures. So, for instance, I spent $70 each on these, um, and I ended up getting them for, I think it was 65 a pop. I actually, Karina does not know this. Not that it doesn't matter, but, um, so I ended up getting them technically cheaper than I did through the, uh, from PowerCon this weekend. Because the way that I, I, uh, I came across it was, um, you know, if, if these figures, <laughs> We're at this price point at PowerCon when I buy them. Of course, it was a yes. So, I did it. And it is what it is. So. Private closing seminar. Cody, like I said, man, you can come up. You can look at all the Cosmics you want. You can have one. If you'd like. Is that so so by this time next week i should have uh five more red shield soldiers so i should have five more of these guys and i should have two more of a uh, magnus so and let me just pop on one of the templar helmets maybe if it's easy to get it's probably not easy to get to yeah, I'm just going to fly through these and... Oh, it's even in its own bag, which is cool. 
yeah. For some reason, man, I just... From when I started collecting legions, man, Templars were, like, my favorite thing to collect. Uh, it was Templars and, um, and Orcs. Yeah, that was the sales post that Brian tagged me in. Let me, uh, let me show you. Oh, is this, is this do it? Hmm. Not really. Let me see if I can find. I want to see if I can find the, uh, a post with all my Templar stuff. Man, just scroll through my Instagram. You can literally tell what I was collecting at that point in time. All right, so here is my old Mythic Legions collection. Um, let me just hide my face. So you can see the Templar stuff right here. And then, I mean, I had literally everyone. Here was Delta Gar, Romulus, Vorgus, Asterion, Pic or, uh, Pixis, Vitus before he got remastered or whatever it's called. Uh, Balaam. I had some of the Seventh Kingdom figures up here. All the orcs, I have Urku, Gorthok, all the builders, I have the golden armor. Here's Balaam. Here's another Vorgus Chris James sent me. Uh, Gorgo. Um, I forget this guy's name. He just got re, uh, he just got all starred. Here's R Romulus. Uh, add on from Big Dub. Yeah, I mean, I, and Celtis from Big Dub. Like, dude, I, I had literally had so much cool stuff back in the day, man. So, yeah. So, I did have I did have cool stuff, man. Like, there there was definitely some some figures that I had that were that were awesome. Yeah, hopefully, no nudes in the gallery. Started collecting mythics because of me. Oh man, it's freaking the neck peg. Shoot, that's what. That neck peg just flew underneath the table. So maybe I won't show this one just because this is going to be too much. I don't feel like dealing with this right now. Or someone else. All these neck pegs are just stuck. Probably like because all these. There we go. I mean, how cool does he look with that Templar helmet on? So sick. And then, I mean, they come with this whole bag of accessories. I mean, you guys kind of saw the stuff, so. It's very cool. I'm happy with it. Hopefully Karina <laughs> will forgive me. Yeah, but like I said, I'm I'm gonna try to hustle through this. I got some stuff to quite a bit to open. Oh, and then also shout out to my wife is gonna kill me podcast. Booth. I don't even want to say grail because I don't like to throw that word around there a lot, but I did get a figure that I have wanted and it's Vorthog, the orc. So here we go. Good old Vorthog from the Aerithyr wave. He was, uh, he, he wasn't one that I was anticipating to buy just because he is kind of expensive. Um, all things considered. But Dork Lair, what's up, brother? I don't know if I missed you earlier or if you're just hopping in, but thank you for being here. Um, but I, I think I was on the verge of saying it, but Orcs and Templars were like my two favorite go-tos in my last collection. But the Orcs are just so expensive now. I mean, Templars are expensive too. I missed out on Tim's post. I literally messaged him last night. I was like, hey, 
I'm interested in four red shield soldiers and four Templars. If you can get to a better price with me buying bulk, what would it be? Literally passed out. Woke up this morning. He's like, yeah, all my Templars sold. So I'm like, oh, well, it wasn't meant to be. So I'm still Templar, Tem Templarless. Um, but I do have a few orcs, so shout out to Chris James. He actually sent me the War of Ethereal Blade, or the Aerithor Blade um, video game deluxe pack. Um, and then I bought one on um, uh, Big Bag Toy Store. But Vorthog is definitely one from the Aerithor Wave that I've, uh, that I've been wanting. So. so yeah, this guy is super awesome. Um, I can't wait for the Poxus Wave. I forget what his name is. Um, but that orc from that wave looks beautiful. So, Warthog is worth the price. He's like a dog's pig. Is he? Well, that's good. I, um... So, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm semi-unfamiliar. I'm drunk. I'm buzzed. I'm not drunk. Um, but I'm still pretty new to anything really past the Aerithyr wave. Aerithyr wave. Um, so like I just said, when I stopped collecting, um, the Aerithyr wave was the last wave that I pre-ordered. So, um, I'm pretty unfamiliar with everything up until like the last All-Stars is like what I'm familiar with. Um, but yeah, Vorthog looks awesome. Very cool. So, can't see him cause it's a bad, uh, camera, but yeah, he's very, very cool. Like I said, the preface... I am uh, going extremely fast with all these. Next up on the opener list, um, these are all things. This is actually something else that um, Art Gutierrez got for me. Is uh, Sir Gerard. Hope I'm saying that right. So shout out to Jeremy for his uh, tribute figure. But Art got this for me at a NJ Toy Con or whatever con that was. So, big thank you to him for getting that. Because this, this is like the closest to a Templar that I can get or could have gotten for a quote-unquote retail. He does look amazing. Just look at how much stuff Warthog comes with. Okay. Actually, if, if you guys don't mind, I might just look on this just so i don't have to open up the bag because i gotta do the thing where i put them in a separate bag and write their name on it and everything so so it looks like he comes with a shield a hammer two armor pieces oops an extra set of hands and an extra set of feet where's his extra set of feet at see you later glenn I have a force tool and forth for trade if anyone's interested. Yeah, you're trying to trade for uh, some cosmic, right? Damn, he comes with another head too. Why didn't they? Oh, wait, they did. Oh, he comes with that? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, I don't need another Vorthog. Oh no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> we'll just go right out of there. We'll just get out of that. We'll go to 12 hours of free background music, and we're just going to keep on, keep on going. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't need two more Vorthogs for my Orc Army. No. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Sir Gerard. I think this came with the skeleton. Yeah. So this came with that skeleton head sculpt that was supposed to be exclusive to Legion's Con. But I think the factory messed up or something. So I technically have that or I don't know. yeah, orcs are back on the table, baby. Um, so here's a sword. This guy will be put on display. I don't know. I don't know where he's going to go. That's one thing that I need to like really figure out. Um, Here's my camera that I forgot to <laughs> that I forgot to take. 
Um, the thing that I need to figure out is like how to group everything up and to make it look cohesive. Um, because my biggest pet peeve is, um, sorry, I got to start a correction. There's no difference between the common version and the standard version besides box. Yeah. I think that I, that's what I was trying to say, um, for that, but I also have no idea. Cause like I said, I may or may not be slightly buzzed. It's okay though. We're all over 21 here, right? It's what we do. All right. Um, okay. This guy I'm pretty excited to open up as well. This is the, uh, Mal, Malfar, Mal, Mal, Malfar. Oh no, the blue demon guy. I bought this uh, last month, I think, and I haven't even freaking opened them. But I've been playing a lot of Diablo 4, uh, mainly by myself because my friends don't want to play with me, so that's fun. Um, but I've play, been playing a lot of Diablo, and like an unhealth, unhealthy amount of Diablo. And this guy reminded me of some of the... Because I got the Hellfire Goblin as well. I opened him up. Um, he's back on the shelf. Um, but he reminds me of something that would be in Diablo. So, and I think he comes with little wings and stuff too, yeah? Yeah, he comes with a tail. He actually comes with quite a bit. He comes with a helmet. Oh. I didn't know that. And shoulder. Uh-oh. And pauldrons. Dang, that's pretty cool. Can I have another Happy Dead? Um, yes, he's pretty cool. I'm excited for him. He is a fun little guy. I I do need a Vorthog, but I don't have anything to trade. I'm not going to lie to you. Wait, regular Gerard has a skull head sculpt too? Yes. Yes, he does. And I have a different flavor. I, I This is watermelon. Okay. Did you release some DLC for Diablo? Drew it all the way. Um, they released the season pass, which I understand. It's not DLC, and I, I get you. Um, but I'm with you. But I, I love the game. I've, I've probably put over 100 hours into that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will you take this? Just put it in the trash. Yeah, Ron. So, for instance, I, I mean, you saw me open up the standard edition of it, right? Like, we can all agree that I did that. Um, and Cody, I had three pineapples at uh, three pineapple happy dads at the restaurant. And then as for this, and here is the, uh, the skull. So it just came in the, the bag. This was the little baggy thing that it came in. Um, and, and I didn't even know that until Art Gutierrez, um, when he was sending me pictures of the table. Um, because I, I've, I've spoke with Jeremy in the past. Like, I don't think like he remembered me or whatever, like when I met him this weekend. Um, so when I saw that Art was able to buy that for retail, like I wanted to support them. And I only put it in quotes because it's, t uh, I mean, I guess I am supporting them, but anyways, I digress. It was just cool that someone that I have talked to has a figure. Um, so I was just like, yeah, I'll take it for retail, of course. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Um, but yeah. And it was, it was cool meeting. I don't think I met all the Four Horsemen guys, but I mean, I met uh, Walter for a tenth of a second and then I met Jeremy and I talked to him for a little bit um so thank you to Brian for those relationships or whatever <laughs> but this Hellfire or this uh Bel Belfagar whatever his name is super awesome Diablo-esque looking guy um just gonna throw him back there with that now this guy I've had all the way back from um the in-stock sale, the last in-stock sale. I don't even know when that was. I'm sure somebody in the chat would probably know when it's from. Um, 
actually, that had to be actually a, a very long time ago. Um, so I've had him ever since then because Karina actually uh, got me this. Oh, Cody, it was visited. Chat, can anyone in here give me a, a ballpark on when the last um, in stock sale was for Mythics? It was when they sold all, when they did all their trolls. Brian will have a figure. Yeah, most likely. My dream, since Brian and I have been in a comic book together, it would be a dream for him and I to have a two-pack of Mythic Legions together. Brian, I don't know if you're listening, but how how cool would that be? So we went from comic books to action figures together. Um, it was May. Wow. Okay, so that's embarrassing. Um, so this is Baron Vulliger version 2, or the second. We've all seen him. But I have a, you can see Athelia and her horse. Um, he comes with a freaking cape. Looks like a soft goods skirt piece, maybe, or something. Um, and then a ton of stuff. His shoulder armor looks wicked. Oh, it has vampire wings. Oh, wow, okay. Let's look at this then. I'm in on that two-pack Mythic or Cosmic. I mean, whatever Brian could pull the strings on. I know it would never, ever, ever, ever happen, but it, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be pretty awesome to have. Or we could just do like uh, the Walter did. He he has a Mythic and a Cosmic two-pack for Legion's Con. Um, so this is what Baron 2 looks like. He looks so menacing. Super, super cool. So this is what he looks like. And once again, I, I apologize. I'm, I'm not really like opening too much, but I have a lot of, a lot of figures to open, to open up. Oh, so I'm just opening these to, to eventually get them on the shelves. And then we're good. Toy Lane exclusive. I mean, dude, I'd be down. I definitely think between Brian and I, we could we could definitely sell quite a bit. I don't think it would be enough for like a whole ass thing, but I think it would be cool. But that's just me and Brian. Oh, is mom asleep? Is she asleep? Was she asleep? You just shut the door. Yikes. I have uh, the unknown one. What's this guy's deal? Is there like a Cliff Notes version of this guy that someone can tell me? Like, was this an exclu- I don't know. I kind of feel like a, a noob with uh, with even asking this. I just feel like he can't, came out of nowhere. I know he he was a Legion's Con exclusive. So is that is that kind of where it came from? Was like a Legion's Con thing or? Cosmics do take so much longer to open. We opened, uh, Brian and I, Big Dub and I, um, we opened all my Cosmics Saturday night. And then we opened, uh, and then Karina opened hers, my wife. Legion's Con reuse parts, okay. I mean, I guess I assumed because I could tell by the way he looks that it was quote unquote reused, not in a derogatory term. Um, and the fact that it was like a, a, a Legion's Con, I'm assuming it was just kind of like a one-off thing. It was a figure that Bill at 4-H designed and customized his gun and finally released it. Well, that's cool. I mean, he's freaking awesome, man. That red in his eyes, I don't know if you guys, you can kind of see it. It's just so bright in person, man. And I'm sure for like pop and swap people, customizable. Wait, customize customizers. 
um, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure this figure was a godsend because, uh, I mean, it's an all, is it black? It looks like a black figure, but it almost doesn't. In person, it almost looks like a brown black tint armor. I mean, it's such a baseline figure to start customizing and stuff on, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm, and it comes with its own set of wings, which is pretty cool. Cause the, I mean, the wings are typically separate in there, you know, whatever. I mean, they're expensive, 25, whatever dollars. But the, the price that you get him and the wings with is pretty cheap, so I'm hyped on it. Brian, are we here to talk about, or are we here to listen about our uh, our, our Four Horsemen two-pack figures, me and you? I thought you quit collecting figs. You were in a protein shakes for a hot minute. Okay, here we go. Dr. Sea Dog. Um... All right, so how do I say this? I did I did quit collecting. You were correct about that. Um, I, I sold all my collection. And I put that money towards other things in life, i.e., example, uh, workout equipment, all that stuff. I remember I made the video... 100% about that. I, I don't take back anything that I said, but the one thing that we did do in that period of time was we moved into a new house, which is the room that I'm in now. Um, what's up, Sandy? And I'm not going to lie, man. I, I noticed something when I moved in the house and like month one and two of being here, I didn't have an outlet to express or, or even buy, just buy stuff, man. Like, you know, for the past five or six years I've been collecting and buying and just all sorts of stuff. You know what I mean? So when I moved into the house, we got settled. It was odd that I didn't have anything to, to purchase or just to have on display. And so I, I started looking, um, I started looking at mythics, which I previously collected. And, um, I just, I made the decision that th this, any specifically four horsemen not necessarily mythics but four horsemen um the company I've, I've always loved um i've always said that i would i would go back to mythics but it was just always too expensive to um to get everything that i've i sold off um but they've gotten better with their turnaround times on their waves um they've gotten better with the quality of their figures and and you know exponential growth with the company so i just decided to buy a couple see how i felt i ended up falling re-falling in love with them um so now i'm pretty much just doing this um exclusively i i met someone at PowerCon who said that i was like well what do you collect and they're like well i just say that i collect four horsemen stuff because they they do so many things now they have the figure obscura i believe is how you pronounce it you have cosmics and then you have mythics um, it's hard to say I only collect mythics because I have a whole top shelf of uh, cosmics, you know, because cosmics are gorgeous, man. They are. I almost personally think they're better than mythics in my eyes, but that could just be because they're new and it's just like a new thing. Um, but I love the cosmics. So long story short, I sold everything because I thought I didn't like collecting, but it's one of those things you didn't know what you had until you didn't have it. Or you don't know what you have until it's gone type of thing. Um, once I sold my collection, all my hot toys, everything, um, I knew that I couldn't afford to spend like $350 on like one figure. Now I can spend that amount of money and get like eight figures. So that's kind of where I'm at. So that's my whatever spiel. Thank you for not being um, insensitive and rude about it, though, Sea Dog. I appreciate you, brother. Oh, what's up, brother? With thoughts on the Headless Horseman? I missed the first release, but debating on the. Okay, so this is my thing on that. Um, give me one second. Okay. 
So a big thank you to uh, Big Money Collector. Um, he is a friend of mine and a fellow supporter on YouTube. He actually sent me the Headless Horseman um, for my birthday back in June. And I apologize, Tyler, for uh, not opening this yet. But I've just been uh, addicted to Diablo since... I think July is when it came out. Um, but I am going to open him at some point. I just don't know where I'm going to put anything on the shelf behind me. So I think he looks awesome, to be honest. The horse alone, I feel like, is kind of worth it just because it's a, I think it's an all black horse. It looks fantastic. Um, I'm not familiar with what's up for pre order um, right now. So. Yeah, I would say if you like the Headless Horseman, then it's, it's a good to go. I think it's a pretty popular thing because they had them. I think they had that version, the original version, at PowerCon, and it sold out instantly. Like, once they put them on the table, they were gone. So, I would assume they're pretty popular. All right. Um, I saw someone say something about Ilgar. I do have him as well. Um, big thank you to Eric M Munoz. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but he actually sent me this figure, um, I would say like a month ago. Um, so I, I was doing a live stream and uh, I was talking about PowerCon. I was like, yeah, you know, Brian and his fiance, Natalie, are coming up and we're going to go to PowerCon. And there were, um, there's PowerCon exclusive figures that Four Horsemen had for uh there it's like a pretty much like an early release of some figures and he asked if i could help him out and i was like yeah absolutely man like i'm going to be in line anyways like I'll, I'll do what i can to help and he actually sent me this figure um kind of as a thank you for just helping him before i technically even helped him so it is a uh very generous gift and it's very cool because I he got re uh, he got all starred so reissued technically so I think he was a pretty expensive figure and then once they uh, gave him the all star treatment he bottomed out in price so he's very cool he comes with this uh, bearded head sculpt which is pretty cool but he's a Skelly um, and he comes with some uh, patinaed. Shoulder pauldrons and everything. Same fig, slightly different color scheme. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was like a different, like, fire flame effect or something. Um, but yeah. So big shout out to Eric for that. I just, unfortunately, just shipped him his power cotton figures. Um, <laughs> it took me a while to ship those out, which I feel bad about. But he did get them for retail. I didn't charge him a penny extra, and I even covered shipping. So... I try to be a good guy when I can. Just curious, any ideas on the things lurking around your house? Yeah, that's all in the old house. I'm I'm all out on whatever the heck that was. You know what I mean? So. Over here. Cody says, I like statues. What statues do you talk about? All right, so one of the, the last things that I have to open. So everything that you see behind me, it's like doubles of stuff um, that I have no intentions on opening. Like I, I got a couple uh, deluxe legion, or I'm sorry, deluxe skeleton legion builders <clears throat> um, because I painted and I customized one of them, and then I was just gonna ha kind of have a. I don't even want to say an army because it's literally just two of them, um, but I bought extra just because. So I haven't really figured out what I'm doing with those yet, but so Cody, if you want a skeleton legion builder, you can have one. So this guy, the half giant, is that what he's called? Yeah, this guy's called the half giant legion builder. My wife, Rena, she bought me this. Um, I don't know why she bought me this, to be honest with you. 
but There's so many little twisty ties on this thing. Yeah, my collection is growing rapidly. It's embarrassing. Not yet. What the heck? Let me mute this real quick. So technically that should have a, uh, hopefully muted. But I also got the, uh, the kit for him as well. So this was like the add-on kit. I don't even know when that was available to purchase if, if someone could tell me I would at least like to know just for my own information sake does he at least stand yeah, he does so yeah this guy I want to at least put Well, that's all right. I want to at least put the head and the shoulder pauldrons on. Oh, wait, do I have to take the thing off to get his shoulder pauldrons on? Or no? I think I do, don't I? Yeah, that's not, there's no way that works. And his legs are super loose, gosh dang it. Do I have to take this chest the heck was that? What the heck was that? Do I have to take this chest piece thing off to get hit the uh, the shoulder pieces on? Because that is something I'm not interested in doing right this second. I'll be honest with you guys. I will put these big moose antlers on though. So originally he had this head sculpt and this accessory kit added that on there. And then it adds these, uh, these big old shoulder pauldrons, which look gorgeous, but I think I have to, I think I have to take that freaking chest piece thing off, which I am not confident in, so just gonna have to wait. Yeah, because there's no way that it goes all the way up. That's, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, he, no, he's awesome. And he's, uh, I can't even make this up. Freaking Sir Gerard's sword just fell down the freaking air conditioning vent. Are you kidding me? I can't even make this up. It's lost. It's freaking gone. Yeah, there's the air conditioning vent right here. Oh my God. Oops. I stuck my hand on there 
And I don't, there, there's something else that's down there. Let me hold on. I gotta figure this out. What in the world is this? What is that? What is in my vent? Guys, what the hell is that? Ew. I mean, you see the sword, at least it's not lost, but what the hell is that? Oh, you think that's what it is? Should I smell my fingers? Is that a, I don't know what to do. Is that what that is, Cody? Get the sword before the exit. Dude, I'm trying, man. Hold on, I gotta use my phone as a camera. I got it. Don't you worry. I don't know, it's just one of those things like it's better off just not even talked about, you know what I mean? I'm sweating. Phantom, no, I don't have that. But that's absolutely the uh a, a, a good thing that I should have had. Cody, there's no way it's spider eggs because yeah. someone said that I could put this on here or something. I don't think they're eggs, guys. I, I, I agree with Cody. They're like some downy, you know, let's smell the house good type of thing. You know, let's just go with that. All right, guys. All right. So anyways, oh, boy. Dude, his legs are very loose. Uh, here's the half giant guy with literally only one of the accessories that comes with him. Carver, my man. I gave you a shout out earlier. Thank you for getting slog for me. I appreciate you, brother. Um, so I don't know really what I want to do with all this stuff. Can I just do this? Spider eggs makes it more exciting, right? Um, okay, let's, here we go. I'm gonna try to put some of this stuff in this single bag. It's probably not gonna go very well. I'm pretty sure this is, what goes on top of this, guys? Can someone help me out? That looks like a peg. Is this a peg for a head? Or what do I do here? So I'm just gonna put him back here. Actually, I'm gonna put him back. Oh, it's nothing? Okay. Well, that's good. 
Um, yeah, I really don't have anything else to like unbox at the moment, unfortunately. Because all that stuff is stuff that I'm not opening because I don't have anywhere to put it yet. Um, Kent, let me know about the Aerithere and the Adab Adamon or whatever his name. Not Adamon, that's the mythic guy. What's the freaking horse's name? A Atheon. Atheon. How many was that? Um, it was three, four, five, six. Eight. I think I opened nine. Nine figures. <laughs> Actually, 10. I think I opened 10, technically. Are we surprised, or are we not? Um, yeah, but also, to be fair, Cody, I just unboxed them and just threw them to the side. I didn't do anything with them. So, for the uh, 14 people who are still here... Jehu, thanks for subscribing. Oh boy, here we go. See, this is this is what gets me. Is this Mythic Legion's Cabal and people saying, hey, I'm getting rid of things. Hadrihana a hundred, that's that I'm I'm not there on that one. So well, let's just let's just do some shopping. Is this Kent? Look at you go, Kent. A little Kent there. Let's just go shopping. You know what I mean? Ooh, Citadel. I have this color. This The Skeleton Horde. I have that. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Yeah, I'm not on that level. Um, Let's drink. I'm down. Z Zion Zylana's flock needs an ogre. I agree. <laughs> he just sold a Thord. I don't Thord Iron. Is that Thord Iron Draw? Is that the dwarf guy? I sat next to Colin at uh, the Legions event thing. I got this guy. Ooh, Carvar. I need one of these things. Actually, I don't. I don't like saying that to him. It's like I'm. I'm demanding. But Brian Carvar, I would love to get some sort of a a diorama done. You know what I mean? Like, let's just let's just do it. Is that Chris? That's Chris James. Where the hell is this at? Chris is a man. Oh, good lord, Otho. All right, Cody. Cheers. Let's just look at Mythic Legions, huh? Oh, man. Oh, that blue orc is cool. So demanding. Yeah, my bad, Brian. I'm five happy dads deep. I apologize. I did not mean it like that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Where's some sale posts? I don't want to buy anything, but let's buy something. I think I almost bought this. Realistically, what I need to do is buy Legion's Con stuff. I saw this in person. This thing is incredible. Look at this. It has uh, the NECA Goliath wings on it. It's pretty brutal. How much is this? Delfina, where's she at? Am I blind? Where's Delfina? Hmm. Isn't this Delfina? <laughs> oh, by the way, guys. Does anyone here collect mythics? How many people do I have in here? 30? Okay, probably not a big shot. You know what I mean? 
But oh shit. I am wanting to trade and or sell the Paracon exclusive guy. De I think I called him Demetrius, but that's not his name. Demistros. Demistros. Demi. Dem Demistros. Demistros. I have no idea. Um, he comes with his capes or whatever, but I'm looking to trade or sell off these guys because I'm, I'm going, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't need him right now. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't need him. I'm sure there's someone who wants this now. Do I want this because it's, it has like the power con thing. Like it's a, it's a very cool box. Like I'm, I'm not going to lie. Instead of it just having like the normal packaging and then just like a teeny tiny little sticker, they legit like went all out and did a box with the dates and all that stuff. So I have two of these. Um, eventually, I would like to trade, sell, do something with them um, because I, I'll, I'll wait until the regular release of them. And I'm not going to gouge. You know what I mean? There is going to be some sort of premium because it is the exclusiveness but it's not going to be like outrageous so if anyone's interested let me know kent if you're interested maybe we can do something maybe we can't you know what i mean it, it just it is what it is and the fact that i waited like well wait i didn't technically wait in line for this but anyways <clears throat> i digress anyways hang out with me guys cheers again i think my wife is asleep on the couch so we're just going to do this live stream a little longer Cody, hope I'm not waking up the baby. This is what I need to see, is a Legion's Con general admission. That's what I need to see, but for me. Oh my goodness. Did I talk to this guy? I did. Wow, he's still trying to sell these? Oh shit, he's selling figures. Oh my lord. Oh, what's his prizes? All right, let's look through his prizes. Chrono, Brother Mandibulus, Templars, 75 each. Mephidor, I don't even know who that is. Attila, it's 125. Yikes, I like that. Deluxe Barbarian Builder, 75. Okay, that's good. Son of a biscuit, man. I like these. I, I want. I want this. I want her. I want her on my shelf. Actually, I want the elf girl on my shelf. Maybe not in that because that's a little revealing. This, yeah, a, a Hadriana body with this head sculpt, gorgeous. That's pretty cool too. That's. Oh, that's even. Oh. Damn. Was that Jimmy? These great people. Yep, that is Jimmy. Yeah, I messaged him a, a little bit ago. Let's see when I messaged him. Uh, back in May, about paint yeah man i want these head sculpts those are gorgeous holy smokes oh all right guys yeah hold on let me let me bring this in i have to pee so i'm gonna go pee here in a second but i i just i gotta say i've collected a lot of things in my years of collecting not that i'm like you know, a veteran collector, whatever. Carver, I agree. We need it. We need a. We just need to make the time. That's the issue with all of us. We're all busy. We all said we want to do it, but we don't make the time to do it. So, this is my thing. I love the lore of Mythic Legions. I love it so much. Let me let me just let me show you guys. 
Run. Mythic legions collecting. Does this bring it up by chance? Oh, well, shout out to Brian for having the freaking first thing. I'm sure my video is buried because it's been. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, that's top five mythic legions. Oh, here's Cody. What the hell are we doing there? Oh, that's that. Top five minutes. Uh, YouTube, you already gave me that. Okay, anyways. All right. Mythic Legions for dumb dummies. I spelled it wrong. Look, I even did a video collecting Mythic Legions for dummies. This is how into Legions I was, right? Like, I literally was like, hey, let's make a... Uh, God, I had fucking earrings in. Excuse my language. I had earrings in. Backwards hat. So, yeah, this was how, like, into Mythic Legions I was, where I was like, hey, let's do 818 likes. Well, so that's where I was like, oh, let's do that thing, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so, <clears throat> Brian, I think I opened up, like, 10 figures. I opened up everything I wanted to. It's just all sitting behind me. That stuff I'm not opening up, because Kent Pool, him and I are going to, I don't know, we're going to talk about Aerithir and Atheon, right, Kent? Maybe. I don't know. I need another freaking drink. My wife's asleep. I have toys. That's really all I guess. Can you bring me down another Happy Dad, please? Seth, my fucking bear. What's up, brother? How you doing? Listen, Cody, she's cold. You know what I mean? It's just the boys. We're all, we're all hanging out. We're opening some mythics. We're talking about some toys. I recorded a video earlier. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. I'm not doing CTS on the 27th. Actually, as of now, I'm not doing it. Um, because I spent way too, I've, I've spent so much money, way more than I, than I needed to. Um, so check out this video that I, um, So this is what I this is what I told Karina. If I were to hypothetically say, if I were to hypothetically say that I bought more Mythic Legions today, what would your answer be? Not happy. You, you want to be happy? Didn't we just say that we weren't going to spend any money on extra stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what'd you buy and how much? Well, I should be able to, I should. <laughs> did you guys hear that at all? What did you give me? Fucking wild cherry man. Who are you texting? You. Let me see your phone. Guys, I got my daughter a... Uh, how old are you? She's going to be 13. I got her a, a phone, by the way. You know, leveling up in life. She's literally... Oh, my God. Riley, you got to learn texting etiquette. I mean, if someone texts you nice and you text okay, oh my god. Oh, and then you do that. Oh my god. There you go. Just vacate. Listen, you can't just text people randomly saying, what are you doing? I know you're bored, but because you're bored, that doesn't mean someone else is bored. So you need to text them telling them that you're bored. At least say like, hey, what's up? Don't just text them straight up. I'm bored. That's not what you do. Um, yeah, Tom, don't get me started. Um, TVC, what's up, brother? Good man. Oh, Sethy. Good man. Hey, Seth, 
just want to let you know we're going to Toylena next year. It's already it's not signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours because uh, we haven't done quite frankly, we haven't done shit besides talk to Brian and saying, hey, can we fly in on Wednesday? And Brian's like, yeah, I think he said, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm telling you, PowerCon, Legions Con, and Toyland. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me take a sip. Let me take a sip. If you have a drink, take a sip with me real quick. Genius idea. Everybody ready? <sighs> Toy Lena. PowerCon. Legions Con. Those are the three conventions, toy shows, gatherings, meetups, mythic manias, cosmic convulsions, four horsemen fanatics. That's what I'm doing every year. Thoughts? Because you think about it. Toylanas in March, right? So that's month three of the calendar year. And then you have PowerCon. Cody, I'll take questions when I'm done. PowerCon's in August, right? Which is month eight. So that's five months in between. And then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, Legion's Con technically in November, which is month 11 which is three three months <laughs> kind of getting crazy here you know what i mean so that is almost as evenly spaced out as possible to where i could dedicate those three shows i could see my friends i could take my wife to columbus in maybe New York, I don't know. <clears throat> I could do all that. I think those are three very Mythic Legion, Cosmic Legion heavy shows, which all of my friends will be at. I think that's great. I think that's what I'm going to do. Clip it. Show me. You know what I mean? We're here. Don't turn. Listen, Kent, I know you'll be at Toy Lena. I know that's a thing. Because we met at Toy Lena fucking freaking six years ago. I apologize for the cursing. Eric, what's up, brother? I was just giving you praise earlier. Cody, I would like to call on you for a question. Please. I will take a sip while you ask the question. <clears throat> no, but for real, I would love to do those three shows because that, that would be centric focus on what I'm collecting. All of my friends are there. It's easily obtainable the only thing that's going to be hard is going to legions con because it's you know 10 hours away but power con is local toy lana is a no no i want to say it's a, a cheap flight but it's really not <laughs> like i could drive eight hours or i could pay 500 dollars for a flight whatever i mean same thing with new jersey i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out you know what i mean I'm, I'm just here i'm enjoying the time with my friends Power con really struck a nerve. Like it, it was, it was a good kind of like um, what? Are, what do they call the the thing? Is that a defibrillator? Like where they, they, the the, the electric things and they're like clear. And then, you know what I mean? Like power con was what that thing does to your body when you need your heart to be reset. PowerCon reset my love for collecting for that. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? <laughs> so that that's so that is. Kent may trade for some horsey. I don't have any horsies. I I theoretically I have uh I have one horse that's extra. It's the um I think it's uh Dubon's horse. But I bought the uh, the Dark Templar horsey kit that I'm, I'm going to try to use for that. All right, hypothetically, if a okay, if a person was to collect mythics but not really, let's say mildly, 
and as their peers financial advisor could that person attend mythic mania cosmic convulsion for his fantasy yeah absolutely listen One could only not be persuaded by mythic mania, cosmic convulsions, and four horsemen fantasy by not going. So... What I mean by that is when you attend said events, you will, and I mean you will, walk out with a Four Horsemen product, signed, sealed, delivered, it's yours. Because at these events, it is the cheapest you will ever purchase a Four Horsemen product ever. Unless, unless we are on night four of Fire Sale with Big Dub and Josh Pence on 13 hours of sleep with no future of collecting, with no mental capacity of of profit and loss statements where we are selling mythic legions for 10 freaking dollars at 1 30 in the morning east coast time with 365 people in the live stream and brian is in a freaking pink bunny onesie i'm half dead david's asleep eating dry bread and we have boxes stacked to the ceiling of hot toys that we've sold for three damn days. So. I digress. And I will say. That at those three events. Or if you go to an event with a street team. Four horsemen. You will never find a mythic legion cheaper. That's just. It is what it is. And Cody, you're not an outlier. Because because I'll be honest with you, brother. I told Brian this multiple times. Last year, PowerCon sucked ass. Like, I could have went on the streets of Columbus. Licked the street. And did a handstand. And I would have had more fun than I did at PowerCon 2022. You know what I mean? Yeah, Cincy Nerd. Craig was up. It was a great time. Cody, Brooklyn, and I, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and I, you know, all of us walked, well, not all of us, me, Cody, and Brooklyn walked around the streets of Columbus looking for alcohol, walked around the hotel looking for alcohol. That's what got us through. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not an alcoholic. Cody's not an alcoholic, and Brooklyn's not one. We walked around the, the hotel looking for alcohol because PowerCon was just not, not it. Outside of the Four Horsemen booth, 2022 PowerCon, it wasn't it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But this year, 2023, it was a different animal. We walked in. There was booths and booths. There was Jenna Jameson figures that I contemplated buying. I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of regret not buying them now. There were toy companies I never heard of. There were toy companies I heard of and got to see the figures in person. There was just so much this year that I told Brian, if 2023 was a rendition of 2022, I would have said, buy the weekend pass. Let's stay all weekend because it was that good. I mean, it was so good that we decided to go back Saturday and we spent $40 for just Saturday when we could have spent 60 and bought for the whole weekend. So 
there's, yeah, there's a lot. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. So, Cody, I firmly believe that if you were here this year, you would have bought Cosmics or Mythics for sure. Yeah, and I mean, 2023 was double. It was double the show size. It's just, uh, let me just see. We got videos. Literally, look, look, look at this, guys. This was my last video right here. I scroll down, boom. Wait. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So here's, the, here's this. So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, that's not even a video. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause this. So there's a lot of good stuff. Like I said, we were here yesterday. All right, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna go pee. And, uh, yeah, lots, lots of good stuff. This so is PowerCon 2022. Kind of overwhelmed right now. Now that I have to record, but I will make sure to get you guys hopefully some good footage, and then uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. But I'm gonna try to find a booth to start at. See how it goes. All right, first booth. This is Boba Khan toys. Um, I saw some three and three quarter Star Wars. That's some good stuff. Get the old school battle right man. I, I just can't believe the prices on this stuff, you know. It's insane. The battle pack with, uh, I think that's Blitz. Echo and Fives, I believe. Got the Gay Merrick battle pack. Lots of cool stuff. And then here's a bunch of uh, vintage collection stuff. Here is Annie, 125. We got Obi Wan, Boba Fett. I'm not going to take those too much because I don't want to mess anything up. What's up, Cody? What's up, dude? So here's one of the aisles. Oh, I see Cincy all the way down there. I don't think you can see him. He's down there. We'll meet up with him hopefully soon. But I'm going to keep this rolling. Just keep going this way. But there, this is a lot of Mo2. Um, stuff here. Inspired, I, I like brain farted right there, my bad. Um, yeah, a lot of Motu inspired stuff. This is what the convention originally started from. It was kind of that era. There's a lot of vintage stuff here, pretty good stuff. So, I mean, so I'm trying to find a booth where I can actually like get in and look at stuff. There's some art. A rocket and Groot. What the fuck? You mean Argentina stuff? Uh, here's the booth I can show some stuff at. Let me. Oh, there's a uh, Snake Mountain for a thousand. Some AEW, WWE figures. Man, I wish you could see this. <clears throat> Man. Let's see. Excuse me. Uh. Okay. So the Super 7s, I was talking to the guy here at the booth, and I guess these are, the retail price of these are actually going to go up, which is kind of a bummer. But, I, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any much I need. Also, we are at FYE yesterday. Um, their prices are absolutely ridiculous. This is 40 <laughs> All right. That's hilarious. Yeah. It's Carmen Electra. Mm -hmm. Carmen Electra. She looks the same. Even though she's a lot. Where was Carmen Electra at? Cody. Fill me in. What the heck? <sighs> Wait, she wasn't there? Why was Brooklyn showing me a picture of Carmen Electra if she wasn't there? Is that Fian Boy? Wow. Anyways. All right. Uh, <clears throat> 2022 was the first year of PowerCon in Ohio. So, you know, there is a little bit of leeway into that. I'm about to sneeze. Kent, they didn't give out press passes this year to PowerCon. Can you believe that? Ah, 
Kiwi, what's up, brother? Mattel did pull out a power con. That is pretty crazy. I mean, I guess I could just let this ride and just not make it super loud. Yeah. Hold on, I might have deleted the email, but I remember just thinking like, I probably did delete it now that I think of it. Yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I did delete it. Damn. But they 100% did not do that. Cody, did we buy anything this weekend? Like this, this, uh... Gosh dang it, Cody. I miss you, brother. Is this Billy? Is this when we pick up Billy? This might be the last time that I saw Billy. Which would be fun. Which was, uh... Hot out here. So, it, my camera's foggy. Oh, shoot. August, right, well, we'll August 9th, tw 2022. That's probably the last time I saw Billy. We're recording. Finally. Yep. Been here for... We got a little bit of... Vintage. I have some legions. Some birds. My helmet. A bunch of likes. Hot toy. Had it all grown out. That's, that's, <laughs> hey, that's the second compliment you got on that thing. Oh, here's a Mythic Legion group or a thing. Super cool. yep. There's Walter. Super cool. But I, I just wanted to show this off because this is actually very, very cool. And then they have their Cosmic Legions, which is sick. I'm upset that I missed the boat on these. But these look incredible. In person. Oh my god, they have the alien. Look at this. So this alien right here, the, the gray, I think is what they call it. Um, this is from their wave two and they had that back then and I didn't even notice because I'm an idiot. These are obviously all like the test shots besides that one. That one's painted back there, the alien guy. And then he's painted back there, but these look insanely good. Wow. Yeah, I have them. Good for them. All right. Wait, what? I'm filming myself. Yeah. myself, that means you've had alcohol. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I have. Yeah, Cody and I, we, we were kind of intoxicated with this yeah here's turtle chris <laughs> um so i am going did he said it was over here uh, um so i'm going to go try to find this thing for since cody this is not the right aisle no you we're following you don't blame it on you me. told me to the right hmm. anyways i'm going to buy this it's thing for Cincy. i need to find something for craig but i this man i don't know vintage did, I did stuff buy something at all for craig, so i have right? no idea what i'm going to do but i'm going to see if they stop this thing Cincy and just buy it as a gift because you know i just want to be nice to my friends so hopefully they have it. Thank you. Are you buying it for Craig or Cincy? I'm buying this for Cincy. I have to find something for Craig. You know what I mean? How so much did I spend I on these guys? What battle pack it was now? I know it was a pilot one, but there's multiple pilots over here. So. What? Hmm. Oh, the no, fucking beach towels, dude! I forgot about that. Um, but it's it's a pilot three pack that's over there. So we're gonna look here. That was probably pretty loud. The video, right? Right here. We're just chilling. We're going to bring. I miss Cincy. Yeah, 
This I find. Oh, I didn't record this. I finally found something. Dude, the last like three clips of my video, I've been like, I gotta get Cincy something Star Wars <laughs> Ninja Quarter. So I found the pilot three pack for him. Thank you so much. Dude. Absolutely, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Welcome back to Ohio for the ninth time. Thanks. Can't wait to have you back permanently. Yes. Hey, where's Craig's stuff? <laughs> you know where Craig put his stuff at? I got Craig some uh oh, his Motu stuff? Yeah, some Motu party hats and Dixie cups from 1983. God. <laughs> of course Craig loves it. Like that's the kind of stuff that Craig Did he did he <sighs> Hey, Cody. He like buy it. Cody, there's the uh there's Brooklyn's mustache. Look at this. That's all of it. Are you kidding me? Come on. How much did he did he <laughs> Look at Brooklyn. All right. So for the three people that are still in this chat, Brian, I opened up all my mythics, dude. All right. So when Brooklyn would put her finger up like this, she she represented that she was one of the guys, right? So like she was the only female like in the presence of all of us through the whole weekend. So anytime we would like curse or just say stupid shit i'd be like all right brooklyn like you're one of the guys so she would instantly go like this and it was just a a, for a weekend long like funny thing for her to do oh, <laughs> it's so I funny you give me the anakin i thought you got pod races on there. actual trade i'm very happy but i was I like both. <laughs> Happy Ohio trip That's to me. They want to come off them, they're like, yeah, ten bucks. Ten bucks for both? Yeah. That's crazy. I still have them, by the way. That's Kevin, crazy. But twenty. I think I. Sh <laughs> I didn't. Sh I didn't show this in a video, but yeah, it's an episode one. Oh, Let me see that. that is sweet. That's gorgeous. Don't blame me. Blame her. <laughs> You're right. That's fair. I didn't open up Monkey. Oh man. This is on my phone. I don't know how the quality difference is, but I'm with everybody, the whole crew. Brooklyn, Mustache, let's go. Brooklyn's one of the guys this weekend. We're here with Craig, Tristan, Billy. I think this is. Cody, you gotta show Brooklyn this clip. She's gotta be hyped for the cabin trip, right? Hold on, let me, hold on, let me open up this freaking monkey thing, dude. Yeah, Karina's passed out, so I'm, I'm here. Probably I'm gonna go outside after this and smokey smokey a little bit. Oh, uh oh. Cody, you technically own with a uh, yeah, four horseman figure now. You know what I mean? Put the trolls on the shelf. I might have room for that. All right, so right now, opening the um, the Monkey King. Oh man, this guy is. This is almost too much. Cody, I'll give you a cosmic if you want. Hold on, let me see what extra cosmic I have real quick. Hold on. Get out of here. All right. So, no, I'm, listen, Cody, if you ever say that I'm drunk when I'm not, I could do a handstand right now if I wanted to, but I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not. It's okay. So, hold on. Let me show you the two that I have. Let me take a drink of my water. Also, 
I was on this rant like 45 minutes ago. This is why I love Mythic Legions. Look how cool that looks. You know what I mean? Oh, let me go to... Cosmic Legions. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have like cool ones. I have this one. So it's all black, right? This guy, girl, technically a girl, 2023. Don't want to be wrong. We have this girl, and she has this head sculpt. Pretty cool, yeah? Oh. Look at that head sculpt. Got this one. And then we have this one. With this head sculpt. I personally like the red one better. Actually, no, I like this one better. To be uh, to be honest with you, I d I that's uh, this one. I like this guy better. But Cody, you have your pick. Hold on, face cam. Would you like the black version or the white version? Shebang. Am I still alive? Is it Cody? Is it just me, you, and Brian in this right now? You want the white version? All right, that makes me sad because that's my favorite one. But I'll give you that. I will give that one to you. Okay, Riley, go get me a sharpie. Oh, if I know where they're at, I would have told you, go get the Sharpie X, Y, and Z. No, I don't know where they're at. Just get me a Sharpie. That's all I ask, you know what I mean? So, okay, do you want the white one? He is pretty cool. He is pretty awesome. Ron, Tom, thank you for still being here. Cody, I am sober. Give me a math problem right now. I'm just saying. Give me a math problem. <laughs> Ron, I am trying to decipher whether I'm going to Legion's Con or not, too. You know what I mean? It's insane. It's... I don't... I don't... No, 9 times 12, that's 72. Delta app. Nine times twelve is seventy-two. I'm one hundred percent. Watch this. Nine times twelve. <laughs> it's one hundred and eight. What's seventy-two? What the hell is something times something times seventy-two, man? Seventy-two. <laughs> All right, you know, Cody, it's not like you pulled me over and you're asking me questions. Look, this face right here, this face is literally what you're giving me IRL with saying that 10 times or 12 times 9 is 72. You know what I mean? This is your face. You kidding me? You couldn't give me an easy one, Cody? That's kind of, you know, reaching a friend. Dude, the Legion's Con exclusives do look great. The 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 Walt Tor or however they're like pronouncing his name and the uh the the Vargas or Vermilion, whatever his name is. 
It's pretty nuts. The wall tore. Yes, that's too bad. What's well, nine plus ten? All right, Cody. I thought I thought we were good. You know, I I thought that I I was I was pretty confident, but like big name whatever. So it was really good. I still have um three hot toys I need to open. Um, Man, hot toy. Oh wait. Just in case some of those figures are gone, or if I just want to re-remember it. So, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for. You and Car Rush should start a Mythic Street team. I mean, dude, I'd be down. That'd be fun. To, like, especially Columbus Toy Show. Dude, Columbus Toy Show would go good. Without certain parts too. Yeah, I know, man. But I just, I, I, I want, the, I want the, the juiciness. Guys, do you like my new outro? Let's just listen to this real quick. That updated our picks. Uh, at least. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next Here time. Here he goes. As always, Here he goes. Mythic be with you. Blue moon. All right, anyways. Riley, you don't have to look for a sharpie anymore. Cody doesn't want my figures. Yeah, I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. All right. What are the chances of scoring those online? Oh, I think uh, Brian just answered those. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Personally, after this week, after PowerCon, I think Karina would go to Legion's Con. Do I drink one more just for the boys? Comment happy, Dad, if I should drink one more for the boys. <laughs> Because Karina is absolutely passed out. Like, there's zero chance of her even making it to bed. She's probably passed out on the couch. Riley. All right. Can you get me one more? Not wild cherry, not pineapple. Will you uh, look for a lemon lime? Where's Parker? Is your mom on the couch? On the couch? Hey. Come here. Do you guys have your remotes for your TVs? Okay, get on top of the refrigerator, get the remotes, and then have Parker just go, go upstairs and watch TV. Thank you. All right. We're going to drink one more since my wife is passed out. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Brian, if, you, if uh, Natalie and Kai are around, tell them we said hello. I want to I wanna spend money on figures can't do you do you know any sort of uh never mind never mind i don't need to buy figures crane is already mad at me i don't need to do that oh yeah um cody cody doesn't want my cosmics This is going to be bad.
Okay, I'm back. Do a shot. Listen, Kiwi, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have anything to do a shot with. But I can try. I'll go find I'll go find something real quick. Okay, touche. Let me put some music on. All right, I'll go find something to do a shot with. I'll be right back. Can you hear me? We're good now, right? I'm not proud of myself right now. I'm not taking a full shot, all right? I'm taking a little bit. Okay. Call me whatever you like. I'm not taking a full shot. Cause I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Before I got on stream, it was, uh, I think I drank three Happy Dads and I took a Jaeger bomb. There's a, literally a, a hole in the wall bar around the corner, um, that we went to and we ate at and we decided to drink a little bit because ironically they sell Happy Dads there and, uh, we met a friend and we took a, uh, we took a Jaeger bomb with him before we left so i was pretty buzzed before i even got on here so for five new zealand dollars whatever that is in american here's a uh a half of a uh gray goose shot which i'm not a fan of cheers there are starships there's pirate ships And there's starships, but there's no ship like friendships. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, oh that's so bad. Oh. oh, my 
God, that's so bad. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad, Kiwi. Oh, Kiwi, that's so bad. Oh, oh my God. So it literally tastes like rubbing alcohol. Oh. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, it just tastes so bad. I normally I love shots when it's cheer or chilled. Oh. No, oh, no, Mitchell, no five dollars for another shot. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Oh my god, that tastes so bad. Warm it up in the microwave? I don't even think that's a thing. That's no way that's a thing, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, check the Facebook tags. Okay. Oh. oh, what is this? Mitchell, thank you for the five dollars, brother. I can't do another shot there right this second. Uh, right this second. <laughs> Great lot of all figures coined in last price. What's the last price? I don't even see anything. KB, what's up, brother? Oh, he eat twice. You yeah. oh, good. Lord. What's this? Templar eighty dollars? No, I can't do that. I'm not doing eight dollars for more. What's a war thog? Ninety dollars for war thog. Oh my gosh. Ninety dollars for war thog. Mitchell, thank you for the support, though, brother. I, I. Oh wait, you're not. You guys aren't even looking at what I'm looking at. I genuinely appreciate it. I just assumed that it was for a shot. So thank you. I appreciate you. I don't want to throw up. Yeah, Vorthog. I can't do Vorthog for 90. That hurts my feelings. Brian, are you just literally, you're literally tagging me and everything. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I literally just bought. <laughs> this is the guy who I literally bought Red, sea, Red Shield Soldiers from. What's this? This is the same guy, August 11th. <laughs> what the hell am I even... He he probably sold all these. What the... Okay, I saw that one. Saw that one. Oh my lord. Steven with the ten dollars drink a glass of water. I need to go get water. <clears throat> now that that is something I'll drink too. Steven, fist bump, brother. Thank you for that. Thank you for the ten dollar super chat, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for all the support. You're a very uh, common name in the chat, and I love that. Thank you. Oh my god, I about threw up. Oh. How much did I just take that shot for? Five dollar New Zealand. Demistros? Wait. Wait, how is this guy selling a Demistros already? Wait, he sold it for a hundred already? Is it the, it is the power cone. How the heck? And he has a cave. Wow. I just finished that section. Hell yeah. I took a shot for $2.50. I mean, I guess that was, that was worth it, right? <sighs> Liv Morgan on a horsey? Oh, good lord. We gotta get out of that. We gotta go to the cabal. I took yeah, I did take a shot for a dollar. <laughs> All 
I would have rather shotgun happy that the Hager shot of that. Ugh, let's just stay on the cabal. Look at Kent. I know I already saw this, but look at look at you go. Um, yeah. So this is yeah. I I bought quite a bit. I bought quite a bit from this guy. About seven figures. We're here. I got this guy. You're right, non-attendees did did uh did get theirs beforehand. That's that's very true. God, Hadriana's really a hundred bucks, man. That's crazy. Yeah, Karina would kill me. <sighs> Shotgun happy that um I don't need to do that right this second. I think I've done that on stream before and it did not end up very well. Oh boy. All right, let's see what. Oh boy. July 7th. And Templars are 55. Dude, me and Billy haven't hung out in a while. There's no way that these Templars are still available, though. You know what I mean? God, look at those things, though, man. Brian, did you say you were going to do some... Uh, hold on, where, something with... Yeah, broker with Kent off camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need Aerithur and Atheon. Is that what he said he had? I keep looking through this. At almost 47, I can hold my alcohol, but I think there's that. Dude, I'm going to feel like shit tomorrow. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want anyone to think that I'm going to be like, I mean, don't get it twisted. I'll be up at 6.30 and I'll play Diablo 4 until my entire family wakes up. But I'm just saying, like, it's just, it's just how it goes. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, this is literally the same stuff we already looked at. All right. Two and a half hours later. We are approaching the time where I need to just get the heck off of here. If I'm going to be honest with you guys. So, I want to appreciate everyone who donated through Super Chat, for support, for me taking a damn shot or whatever the heck it is. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to get off. I want to try to get my whole entire family to go to bed. You know what I mean? Because uh, tomorrow is going to be a late night because we were watching the uh, UFC 292 with uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley and Al Jermaine Sterling. Uh, we're going to watch that. Um Am I going to pose it up? Probably not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not in the mindset of doing that right now. So I love all you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody who hung out. It wasn't a, a wild turnout, but it's also a Friday night, so I appreciate you. So the people who I saw in here a, a long time, uh, Wraith, thank you. Brian, Big Dub, thank you. 
uh, Cody. Thank you, Gnomeski. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, all you guys. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. Um, sorry I didn't, like, pose or whatever, but I think I'm going to try to do, like, an actual video of um, maybe maybe the display. Clear that bed off. Yeah, dude, I'm going to be. I'm going to have to sleep in this bed after the purchases that I made. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm hopefully going to do a video and kind of touch everybody up on um, everything that I have purchased recently. So appreciate you guys. Love all of you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you in the next stream and or video. Yeah, let's go, sugar. I'll see you guys later.